Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to uh, share a how-to video uh, to get a tachometer working uh, whenever you run a uh, cool unplug setup for a B-series. Alright, here's the car. Here's the cool unplug. Now the, now the motor already runs and that's already been synced in with the timing. I just wanted to give a quick explanation on what to do to get your uh, tachometer working. So whenever you eliminate the distributor, uh, you lose the, the tachometer wire that's fed from the distributor uh, to your tach. So the tach's no longer going to work. But instead, whenever you do the conversion, uh, the information is going to come straight from the AM-EPM directly to your uh, AM-EMS. And then from the AM-EMS, it, uh, it goes to your TAC. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to hit for uh, the TACO Speedo tab. And then you're going to input these values from 0 to 24. Now, I found it's easiest to go from the table view mode to update the information. Now this is going to be reversed. So whenever you start, and I'll back it up to number zero to uh, to zero. So we've got zero, one, and two at zero, three, four, and five at one, six, seven, eight at zero, nine, ten, eleven at one, twelve, thirteen, fourteen at zero, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen at one, eighteen, nineteen, twenty for zero, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three for one, and then the rest will be zeroed out. And that's actually the exact exact opposite of what it's loaded in at. Uh, and then on the side, make sure that you're make sure that you've got uh, TAC uh, frequency in at none, TAC frequency now is none, uh, TAC M at zero, and then your TAC output LS7 on the, I'm running a 30, 60, 50, and on the 30, 60, 50, it's uh, pin A19. So A19 is gonna go directly, here is A19, and it is ran to, the back side of this, this is an EF, EGs and EKs are all going to be the blue wire back here. So right here, this is the blue wire. That is your tack signal, and that's where it's going to be soldered into. Now, I did make a mistake, and I want to let you know about my mistake. Uh, originally, I had just skinned off some, some wire here uh, just to test it, and I wasn't showing any signal. Uh, but the reason was is because the rest of this... If you just skin the wire and leave it hooked up to the rest of the harness, it's going to pull juice from your uh, from your signal wire to your um, uh, to your speedometer. So, with that being said, uh, make sure you cut it, solder it, and then you'll be set to go. Okay, now so we've got we've got here loaded up. We'll head back to the. Graph view. All right, so now I've got a tack. I've got a working tack. And then here, you can see how it's going through the teeth. And it's throwing the signals to your tachometer. So, hope this helps you guys out. Um, have a good afternoon.